Hi, divers. This is Alec Pierce again from Scuba 2000 with another tech tip, little ideas to make your diving more enjoyable and maybe safer too. A very common complaint that I hear from divers here in the service department is someone coming in and say, my regulator's not working properly. It blows air all over the place. It free flows. It just doesn't work properly. I'm afraid to use it. Many, many times that complaint is legitimate, but many times it is not. Let me demonstrate. This is a modern regulator. This is a Sherwood SR2, one of the most uh, uh, modern regulators, up to date, easy breathing, automatic venturi, adjustable second stage, and so on. Typical regulator today. These regulators are very easy to breathe, not like the old days, boy oh boy. But anyway, one of the problems with the high flow, easy breathing regulators is that they'll start to breathe on their own. The diaphragm is so sensitive that just an inch or two of water will make it start to breathe. Let me demonstrate. Maybe you've seen this happen before. If this regular falls off out of your hand, or if you jump in the water, walk in the water, and the regular goes in the water in this position, which is very, very common, watch what happens. Oh, sorry, Kevin. You okay? That's very, very common. The reg will actually start to breathe on its own and blow water all over the place. Is there something wrong with the regulator? Not at all. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Breathe easily. How do you prevent that? Well, it's very simple. Put the mouthpiece in first. Look. Same regulator, same air. Put the mouthpiece in first and that won't happen. Nothing wrong with the regulator. If that does happen, watch this. Just put your thumb over the mouthpiece. It'll stop. Safe diving. Have fun.